Hey LinkedIn, it's Liam Redding, Senior HubSpot Strategist with Remotish Agency, and I'm back again today with another one minute HubSpot tip. Today's tip is about descending if-then branches. As we can see, this workflow uses a series of if-then branches that descend downward and check different outcomes. So this can be used for a variety of use cases, um, but this is just one example of that. It's not a perfect example, but it does work. So in this example, products is known and became a customer date is less than one day ago. That triggers the contact to come down. Now, the purpose of the workflow is to check between all of the outcomes that could occur for products. So it could be product one, product two, product three, or because it's a multiple checkbox property, it could be a combination of those things. So each if then branch checks for every property and each pro or every product and each product gets its own if then branch. So this is for product one. If that's true, the products is any of product one, we will enroll them in the onboarding related to that product. If not, we'll go down the none met branch, go to action, then we'll check for product two. If that's true, we'll do the same thing uh, that we did for product one to product two. None met, we'll go to action, we'll come back to product three, we'll do the same thing. As you can see, this is a three step process, but you can make a very long descending if then branch that checks for outcomes or whatever. Uh, you need it to do. It's an interesting concept, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you could see this uh, being useful. And I will be back next week for another one minute and 30 second of spot tip.